She's a rational investor. Dividend digester. Saves some numbers paycheck just like all his ancestors. Him looking for high yields? That's never the case. He's seeking 6% return. Slow and steady wins the race. We pay our debts in our currency. That might be unfurled if it's no longer the reserve currency of the world. Confidence in the dollar is permanent. Just ask any scholar. People are exchanging their dollars for dog money. Dog money? Dog money. Dog money. We trading it in for dog money. Dog money. Dog money. Dog money. Dog money. I'm putting it all in dog money. Yes, indeed. Some people are putting all of their money into dog money. Welcome to Satoshi's Bitcoin Chart Show. This is the Bitcoin forecast, the strength of the system, the health of the network, where we find out what's up with what is going down. Today's date is Friday, the 29th of October, 2021. Let's be gone and jump straight into these figures. Here we go, rock and roll. Starting from left to right, we've got CoreCoin BTC SegWit protocol, centrally owned, planned and controlled by Blockstream. Ever since they implemented SegWit on the 24th of August 2017, segregating the signatures on the chain, meaning they're accountable to nobody, which brought it under their centralized control, which also turned BTC from a commodity into a security and crashed its fundamental value to zero, but that was always their intention anyway. Then we've got B Crash, again, centrally owned, planned and controlled by Roger Ver and his crony mates. Utterly worthless. We've got Fisher Price Cash, what an absolute joke that is. And then we've got Bitcoin, which is BSV. The original protocol goes right back to the Genesis block. It hasn't changed, making it the real Bitcoin, the true Bitcoin, the genuine Bitcoin, and the world's first and only ever digital commodity, backed by the value of data sovereignty, making it the most valuable commodity on earth. Yes, indeed. So let's have a look at these figures on CoreCoin then. So we've got uh, hash rate 98.9. Network nodes 93.8, transactions 43.3, oh, going up a little bit, block size 1%. <laughs> what a joke, what a joke. So when you consider that BTC actually started out as Bitcoin, something's clearly gone wrong. So we'll just let our favorite douchebag of Bitcoin, Pete McCormack, see if he can explain that for us right now. Take the floor, Pete, if you'd be so kind. Bitcoin is so different now from when Satoshi was here. Yeah, well, when Satoshi was here, Bitcoin was a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. How far away from that are we now? It's a completely different project. And what would Satoshi have to say about that? It doesn't matter who Satoshi is anymore. And what if he came back and said something like, what the hell do you think you're doing effing up my project? Even if Satoshi came back, I don't think he would just be immediately welcomed as having this God-given right to decide what happens with Bitcoin. I think he would have to earn his right back into the project. Earn his right back into the project? I just thought you said it was nothing like Bitcoin. It's a completely different project, and it didn't matter who Satoshi Nakamoto was anymore. Why would he want anything to do with a project that is nothing like the one he created that is Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system? This makes no sense whatsoever. So in your opinion, what's this alternative project based on now then? Bitcoin is... is, is is the sum is is built by, based on consensus now consensus do you know what proof of work is do you understand the significance of a chain of signatures did you even bother to read the white paper satoshi nakamoto invented bitcoin with a chain of signatures to hold everybody accountable blockstream segregated those signatures on the 24th of august 2017 segregating the signatures on the chain meaning they're accountable to nobody which brought it under their centralized control meaning there is no consensus because it's a centrally controlled project by blockchain that's fundamentally worthless you absolutely absolute goon but because you make me laugh i'll let you have one more go at trying to convince me bitcoin is 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 the sum is is built by, based on consensus now are you sure about that because it didn't sound like it to me <laughs> dear oh dear anyway let's move on then so we've got uh b crash here so uh roger tell us uh, your expectations for your centralized project that is b crash the ones that say that the blockchains all need to be legally compliant about everything all the time uh, just go use your Visa card. Uh, yeah, because that's going to work. And we've got Fisher Price Cash. What a joke. But then we've got uh, Bitcoin here. So uh, hash rate 0.22%. Network nodes 0.89%. Transactions 29.04. Block size, they look at that. This is the data flowing through the chain. It is all about data security. Transactions mean absolutely nothing unless they're actually carrying data in them. And um, Bitcoin has got 98.66% of the data. Look at that. Block size to hash rate. You can see what's going to happen. Yes, indeed. So we'll just have a quick word with uh, Craig Ocean Akimoto, the creator of Bitcoin, to find out his expectations of Bitcoin. So Craig, tell us, what do you want from Bitcoin? 
I want Bitcoin not to go up to 10,000 or 100,000. I want it to be worth millions per Bitcoin. Yeah, and when you strip it all down to the bare bones, is that it? That's it. And that's what we spend money for. Very simple. Loving that, let me help out and I'll stick my foot right in. So seeing as block size is 98.66, tell us what else can we expect from Bitcoin? At Enchain, we've just funded a number of universities doing so far a test up to one gigabyte because it validates what we've already done independently. We've tested up to 380 gigabyte blocks. We have tested 1 million transactions a second and transaction sizes up to 20 megabytes. Super complex scripts basically ones that can run operating systems. That's all of global commerce times about 50. On top of that, we can have complex scripts. On top of that, with payment channels, we can scale each of those transactions 1,000 times, which effectively means about a billion transactions per second, which means we can then have all derivatives, all complex trades. That means high frequency trading. It means everything that happens globally it means that sounds absolutely fantastic and the derivatives market alone is estimated to be between 800 trillion and one quadrillion dollars oh yeah sounds good to me all right let's have a look at these uh, blocks coming through then but before we do that we'll have a quick chat with our main man michael saylor who never fails to put me up in the morning with his level of enthusiasm so uh michael tell us uh you know when we're looking at these blocks what should we uh, what should we be looking out for I like Bitcoin the way it is. Oh, all right, mate. Calm down, calm down. Well, you can't just leave it there. You're going to have to explain yourself. Tell us what is it about Bitcoin that you love so much. In fact, in fact, I love Bitcoin the way it is. Oh, I'm sure you do, Michael, but uh, so do we. How do you compete with that? The way it's currently constructed, it is possible to put all $250 trillion of monetary energy. Well, $250 trillion of monetary energy. Where's that going to go? And big blocks of encrypted energy on the blockchain. They do sound like big blocks. What sort of numbers are we talking about? Maybe the Bitcoin will be a million. You can probably calculate $10 million of Bitcoin or something. $10 million per Bitcoin or something. And how's it going to fit and where's it going to go? Big blocks, $100 million chunks on the blockchain. Is that right? All right. Well, let's have a look at these blocks then just for you then, shall we? Michael Sunshine. So uh, calling out the megabyte blocks, so we've got 92, 1, 2, 1, 5, 4, 6, 2, 2, 4, 2, 3, 5, 10, 87, 253, 408, 136, 34, 563, 1, and 5. That's, uh, well, I've seen bigger blocks than that, but, you know, that's, that's all right, especially when you compare it to these other shit coins. So Fisher Price Cash, yep, still struggling to get all of their blocks over a kilobyte, let alone anywhere near a megabyte. Uh, B Crash, they've got one, two, three, four, five blocks over one megabyte. <laughs> well done, then. And uh, uh, Core Coin, looking skinny as well. How many blocks under a megabyte? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen out of a column of thirty. So that's over half that are under a megabyte. They still can't even fill their puny megabyte blocks. That's ridiculous. Uh, Bitcoin Asher by Network again. You know, so again, it's just speculative because they're chasing the speculative price. They're dollar worshipping effectively. Uh, proof of Work by Network, CoolCoin, Crash, Fisher Price Cash will fall into their own footprints because that's what Ponzi schemes do when they crash overnight. It's currently 3,716 times cheaper to transact on Bitcoin than it is CoolCoin, and it's uh, 5% or 10% more profitable to mine on uh, CoolCoin BTC. Shows you the competition for Bitcoin. Daily average Bitcoin block size by Network, Bitcoin absolutely smashing it. Uh, daily Bitcoin transactions by Network, oh, uh, it's a cool coin just in the lead there. Transactions per block by Network, cool coin just in the lead there, just because crypto fights is offline, just wait till they come back, winning on all those metrics. Daily average Bitcoin fees by Network, USD, so again, USD is speculative. Fees, Satoshis, oh, looking close, I might be crossing swords. Uh, so this is a Bitcoin fee to block reward ratio again. So it's the fees and the block that are eventually going to surpass the block reward. Then we have an economically self-sustaining system, which is what Blockstream and all those nefarious entities fear the most. Uh, daily accumulated Bitcoin blockchain growth by network. Let's have a look at this proportionally. Look at that. Absolutely massive. Absolutely massive. 
Now, uh, 1.68 gigabytes. Let's see how far we are in front. Uh, one terabyte, 400 gigabytes. Absolutely massive. Absolutely massive. Uh, hash rate, this is global hash rate, seven days. Global hash rate, 24 hours. Uh, cool coin hash rate, so it's going to look similar to uh, global hash rate because there's 98% of it on there. What's this? Founder USA pool suddenly increasing the hash rate. Oh dear, oh dear. They're going to get burnt so badly. An amp pool in the lead via BTC. Reducing their overall hash rate. I wonder what's going on there. Via BTC increasing the hash rate on Bcrash. What an absolute joke that is. That's hilarious. Uh, Fisher Price Cash via BTC wanting some for some reason. Uh, oh, what's this? Bitcoin. Wow, so Tau with 33.3. Uh, SV pool, good to see them on their 28, but uh, via BTC with 13.8, what are they trying to do? Are they trying to accumulate some so that they can dump it on the uh, 1st of November along with Binance? You've got to remember, these are just simply bits of data. The cheaper it is, the more you can buy. That's it. It's not It's not a share. It's not, <laughs> it's not equity in a company. It doesn't like simply smash a values company so that banks will no longer lend to it, their cash flow dries up, and then they can't operate. That's not how this works. These are just simply bits of data. It's absolutely ridiculous trying to trash the price, but that's why we say shit coiners, shit for brains. So uh, the reason we're trying to force a shit coiners off, off the chain is because the only thing they understand is dollar worshipping, which leads on to price manipulation, which we'll look at now in the short positions. Here we go. So uh, on Bitcoin... See the price has gone up, then it's come down again uh, since uh, since September. Short positions, 91% uh, short positions on the original genuine Bitcoin protocol. That's absolutely hilarious. Shitcoin is shit for brains. Let's have a look at, uh, oh, what's going on here? Coolcoin BTC. So it looks like we started out sort of the beginning of the month where there was 41,000 BTC um, in long positions. Uh, this is interesting. So the price has been going up, and yet the short positions have been going down. People losing confidence. So that's gone from uh, 41,000 uh, BTC on Bitfinex to just 30,000 by the looks of it. Wow. Wow. Um, but the, uh, the short positions are also diminishing, but... These two lines will cross very soon because they're going to learn the hard way, I'm afraid. Uh, Bitcoin blocks live. So for any newbies watching this for the first time, the uh, vertical rectangular blocks moving across the top of the screen are the transactions being recognized by the nodes on the network. As soon as they're recognized by the nodes on the network, they are thrown into the memory pool, which is where they're competed for by miners and payment processors. In order to create a block, put the transaction within a block, and then place the block on the blockchain, which is when they're rewarded with the Coinbase data, otherwise known as the block reward, otherwise known as freshly minted Bitcoin, along with the block fee. A look at this. So we've got two, two uh, gigabyte blocks in the last 24 hours. So we'll take this 1.6 gigabyte block. We've got uh, in the highlighted rectangular box below that. We've got hash of the block, the block height, who it was mined by, size, the time, the date, the transaction count, and total fees in the block. That's uh, $621. Uh, so let's just have a look at the uh, fee in terms of the reward. So four BSV of the reward. Very good. It needs to be more than 6.5, but, you know, uh, the uh, block rewards halving is uh, chugging along. You know, the closer we get, like, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. You know, it's... Uh, yeah, get your popcorn ready, ladies and gentlemen, especially with a climbing case coming up. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's have a look at the mining farms. There we go. Look at this. Do you honestly think a network that could only handle four to seven transactions per second was honestly meant to economically sustain all of this? Lot? It's absolutely hilarious. This lot are just simply living on the block reward. They've got, they've got no consideration for the future or what's going to happen to the network. It's absolutely insane. It just goes to show you that they have no fundamental understanding of it. It shows you how far ahead we here in the genuine Bitcoin really are in terms of our understanding of Bitcoin. It's absolutely ridiculous. All the gear and literally no idea. Oh dear, it's hilarious. Let's have a look at uh, BitInfo charts. Where are we now? So uh, longing for uh, crypto fights to get back online. So uh, transactions is only 4.1 of the entire CMC. Look at XRP storming here. That's hilarious. Uh, for any newbies, you can look at uh, transactions over the last 24 hours on the chart here. Over three months, you can compare all these different shitcoins down the bottom. But look at that. 
Bitcoin has been a front and Bitcoin will get there again. Yes, indeed. Just wait for crypto fights to come back online. Loving that. Scaling test network. Oh, look at this. So um, looks like the uh, transactions per second ratio has gone up to even though we've seen shadows demonstrating 50,000 online. This is a 12,277. Let's have a look at uh, BSV data protocol. So Meta ID producing 14.44 gigabytes of data in a 24 hour period. That's absolutely massive. And that's like one protocol. Let's have a look at applications. So we know that crypto fights is down, but it'd be interesting to look at this anyway. Here we go. Yeah, crypto fights. Daily data size, 173 megabytes. Very good, very good. Trends.cash, so TDXP are absolutely macking it, 75%. Uh, then followed by Relay X and then some unknowns here. Um, apps ranking by performed actions. I think that's Meta something or other. Meta protocol, Meta ID. But uh, good to see the various different applications on there, you know, uh, all contributing to the network. Uh, crypto quant. Yep. So look at that. The exchanges have been cashing out. Look, it's, it's an all time low still again. Lower and lower and lower. So this will be probably USDC desperately trying to pump the price of BTC. But the exchanges are having none of it. They know it's absolutely and utterly worthless. Oh, dear. What's on chain? Good question. What is on chain? Estimated next block size 27.9. Let's have a look at transactions over 24 hours. Oh, going down 154,540. Joho's memory pool. So again, they've taken out the genuine Bitcoin here. We're only left with this BTC shitcoin. But I mean, look at this memory pool. Absolutely all over the shop. People have no idea when their transactions are going to be uh, are going to be received because they've implemented replace by fee, child pays for a parent, like uh, restricted the block size, uh, implemented Lightning Network, told people not to use it, said it's a store of value. Dear, oh dear, absolutely outrageous. We can see the effect that it's had on TX Street now. So we've got the medium fee on uh, CoolCoin BTC, 62 cents. Add that to every cup of coffee or high frequency trade, and on Ethereum. The uh, transfer for $14. That's absolutely hilarious. Dear, oh dear. Uh, the Fed. So this is a, uh, what do we know about excessive money printing? Statistical analysis has found that every time an empire begins to near its own demise, you'll find that its currency will be debased. And that's exactly what we're witnessing here. So in 1960, there was $140 billion in circulation. But by 2010, that had gone up to uh, 2 trillion. And then by 2020, it had gone to 4 trillion. And then in just a few months, it's gone over $16 trillion. So if you're wondering why they're going around trying to jab everybody and what they use the money for, you can see it quite clearly right here. You think I'm joking? Oh dear. Uh, let's have a look at uh, CoinGecko. So reporting a price of $161. How are we feeling about it today, CoinGecko? 67%. That's all right. Let's have a look at Bitping. Oh, here we go. Money flow per hour, $3.83. That's absolutely massive. Uh, countries, 56 so again, this is uh, Bitcoin monitoring these networks or paid to, to monitor these networks. Great service there. Uh, the morning run, 24-hour trade volume, 12,483. Stay away from this, people. Move fast and break stuff does not mean breaking the law, of which all these shit coins are doing. But we've had 160,950 purchases of Bitcoin over the last 24 hours. Very good. Let's have a look at the depth chart on live coin watch. So uh, price trending sideways there. Uh, oh, this these figures have gone up. So we've got uh, 7.5 million bids versus 7.9 million asks. Uh, we're expecting a huge increase in both those numbers very soon. Let's have a look at ooh, what's going on here. So this is uh, Bitcoin versus USD. So it looks like we've had a, uh, a dump in the price a couple of days ago. Then it's sort of trending sideways and trying to recover just a little bit. Let's have a look at uh, CoreCoin. Oh, so they've had a dump and then they're fighting back. But look at that. They've had a massive dump. What was all that about? Went down to 57,000. No manipulation there. Dear, oh dear. And uh, uh, this is Bitcoin versus CoolCoin. Oh, look, we had a massive spike in the price then. Crikey. Look at that. There's no way those nefarious forces were going to allow that for long, but uh, never mind. Let's have a look at the entire coin crap. So we've got CoolCoin at $61,000. Let's have a look at where, uh, where Bitcoin is right now. Again, you know, stay tuned for what's coming soon, people. It's f currently 52 at the moment. This is the only digital data protocol that has any fundamental value whatsoever. 
All this shit got look, even safe moon is above uh, Bitcoin. That's it, it was up 40%. What a joke, what a joke. No manipulation there. Honestly, the powers that be are literally trying to do all they can to just simply bury Bitcoin under all this mountain of shit coins. That's literally all they're trying to do. It's just a nefarious attempt at burying Bitcoin and discrediting it. They're not going to get away with it. Uh, let's have a look at Twitch new users, 22 of the last 24 hours. Let's have a look at uh, Ruth Eastman's epic tweet. How many are we on? Oh, look, they're taking the likes away. That should be like literally multiple thousands by now, multiple thousands. Uh, let's have a look at our man uh, Zatoshi. How is he doing? Oh, there he is. Changed his picture there. Hey, over 80,000. That should be hundreds of thousands by now. And let's have a look at a stable coin printer that's not very stable about uh, reporting tether prints. But look, all this USDC. See, look, that's USDC now that's uh, pumping the price of BTC. But you know, nothing, nothing is going to help it. You know, especially uh, when the, the law, well, you know, when the courts rule against it. Dear, oh dear. What are they going to do? Well, not a lot they can do. They're going to be found out. Uh, well alert, what's this? Uh, 129 million USDT transfer from unknown wallet to unknown wallet. Just utter shenanigans there. Uh, more USD, uh, USDC being moved. Uh, B 60 million uh, BTC moved. Uh, any other prints here? What's this? Ethereum being moved. That's three hours, four hours. Six hours. What's this? Ethereum being moved, transferred from Binance to unknown wallet. Oh dear, people feeling confident about that. They're going to be shattered. What's this? Um, so uh, $185 million of uh, BTC wrapped, says here, um, minted at uh, Alameda Research. All right, let's have a look then. Uh, transfer from unknown wallet, more shenanigans. Look at this, ETH being transferred, unknown wallet to unknown wallet, more Ethereum being transferred. People, it doesn't matter how many times you move it around. You know, it's <laughs> nothing can take away from the fact that it's got absolutely no fundamental value. BTC being uh, transferred from unknown wallet to Coinbase. Oh dear, that's not good. Uh, transfer from unknown wallet to Coinbase. Oh dear, oh dear. What, what I mean, you can only cash out. You know what, uh, nine thousand dollars a week. You know to uh, you know, fiat currency, unless they're supporting USDT. I've not been onto Coinbase because it's such a shitcoin exchange for a long time. Absolutely outrageous, just people dollar worshipping. And and there we go. All right. So it looks like we're up today with the figures. Hope you enjoy the show. Catch you guys later. Get paid for posting your pics on Relica. Download the app now at www.getrelica.com. Get your tweet etched on Twitch forever on the Bitcoin blockchain. Do it today at www.jointwitch.com. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online. Support independent content creators on micropayment platforms such as Streamanity, Twitch and Relica. We should profit from our data, not the large corporations who track, monitor and sell it. If you enjoy the Bitcoin content that I produce, please support me by heading over to www.satoshi.tv where you can keep up to date with all the latest news, gossip and content as it's created. Thanks very much. To get started in Bitcoin, go to freebsv.com where you can claim your free Bitcoin. Then head over to Twitter and follow at IamZatoshi, where you can take part in his very generous and world-famous free giveaways. The future of advertising meets the power of Bitcoin at Tonic Pow. Get paid for posting advertising campaigns to your social media profiles. Go to www.tonicpowadds.com.